we, there's, there's no time. Um, I hope you're well, but we, don't, we can't address it. Um, <laughs> I've had an up and down year. Uh, I was recently voted, this is true, in the 50 sexiest Jews on Twitter. So, uh, <laughs> I know, it's not sort of, nah, it's not, you wouldn't clap it, but it's nice. I, um, sort of mixed feelings, but it's nice to be called sexy, isn't it? With any uh, number of caveats, but obviously sexiest Jews and then on Twitter is quite a limited uh, subset. <laughs> Of another quite limited subset. Also, I'm not Jewish. That was the main thing. I, uh, <laughs> I still haven't told them. I don't know whether to tell them or not. I'm hoping this clip will do it. I we, the only ever time I've been in a similar situation is I was once in a celebrity magazine in the UK. But again, very mixed feelings. I was in a, a roundup of uh, crushes we shouldn't really have. <laughs> what the fuck is that meant to mean? I don't see myself as a great beauty, but a crush you shouldn't have is it Mugabe or something. Or <laughs> your horse. Um, oh, you seem nice, but I tell you what would make this better four ventriloquist dolls. I, uh, <laughs> that guy. That was what I was planning. That's gone now. I, <laughs> It's true about the up and down year as well. It, since I was last in Melbourne, I've got divorced. Um, which <laughs> in the UK, quite a lot of people would make sympathetic noises there, but Australians are much more pragmatic. Yeah, they're fair enough, your marriage was probably shit, fair play. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's the inevitable march of events, mate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know you're just sort of right, it's all right, both of us are fine. It's just the actual process of divorce is stressful as hell. Bloody hell. I read somewhere, uh, and this is quite a well-documented thing, uh, divorce, they reckon divorce is in the three most stressful things that a person can go through. Uh, so it goes bereavement, divorce, and then you think your phone has been charging for an hour, but you, you weren't connecting. It really. <laughs> wasn't really plugged in. <laughs> I couldn't believe that was only number three. There's nothing worse. The worst thing is the hope, the, the futile hope looking in the wall thinking, oh, look at it merrily charging away. That's going to be 85, maybe 90% battery, but it's, what? 16%? But I'm going out. I can't go out on 16% battery. I'm not a psychopath. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't want to dwell on British politics or any politics, but sometimes, I watch the news sometimes. It reminds me of something my granddad used to say. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, he was ahead of his time, really. But they... <laughs> These days, the announcements on the British public transport, they no longer say, please report anything suspicious, because that makes you more nervous. They've started saying, please report anything that doesn't look right. You'll hear that if you go to Britain. It's so British, something that doesn't look right. Oh, I'm about to be killed. Well, that's not right, is it? <laughs> uh, it's not on. And also, I mean, it's so vague. A lot of things don't look right. I can't be on the phone all night. Hello, I've just seen a man in a full suit and tie on one of those scooters that are clearly intended for children. Yeah, I, um... <laughs> no, not an imminent threat, but it did not look right. Uh, so, I... Oh, hello, yeah, me again. I've just seen the word skiing written down. Strange, isn't it? Those, um... <laughs> those two eyes. Oh, and it's Mark Watson. Thank you for listening to me. See you again.